Hello, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. All right, y'all, got rained out today. Wanted to do stuff outside, but it's been raining all week, and so I'm stuck in the kitchen, which might not be a bad thing. But today I'm going to make some stuffed cornbread. If I remember correctly, I used to call this cone pone when I was a kid. And uh, it's pretty tasty. So check this out. Here's the ingredients. Here it is. Two boxes of cornbread mix. Yeah, I know. I should be making it from scratch, but I ain't got that kind of time. And there's no difference of flavor. And this is mighty convenient. So get you a couple of boxes of cornbread mix and get after it. Your cast iron freaks. Get you a cast iron skillet. You're going to be needing that. Okay, get some cheese and grate it. Probably about a handful. Take your one jalapeno, remove the seeds, and dice it very fine. And then you want a small can of corn, like that. This is not rocket science. You want to add some of this corn. Now this is the guesstimate part. You want to add some, but not a lot. Just to whatever looks good. You want to add your jalapenos. Remember to take the seeds out. You're going to have a mess. And then to kind of give that a mix so it's evenly distributed through the batter. And you can kind of look at it, you know, when you see the amount of corn you want in there. It'll just kind of be spread across it, kind of like a granola bar. Then you want to add your cheese. This cornbread's going to weigh a lot. You kind of fold that all in, kind of spread it out, otherwise you'll get a big lump of cheese somewhere in the middle and that won't taste too good. Check that out. You can see, you see the little specks of green everywhere and the cheese and the corn and You didn't see that. Okay, y'all, pre-warm your skillet. Now, I don't know what temperature to pre-warm it. You don't need to go full blast, 400 degrees to cook the cornbread, but you want it hot so that it melts your butter. And what I'm doing is pre-greasing the pan. Now, normally, I might use baking grease for this, but baking grease, cornbread, well, it'll probably go good together, probably with little bits of bacon, but maybe next time I'll do that. But you want to preheat that, and then add your cornbread. Mix. See that? Pretty good. Okay, while the cornbread's cooking, we're going to take some meat. These are little itty-bitty ribs. Deep Fried King Special Blend. Now you're all going to learn a little more about the special blend. The heat of seasoning goes on everything. And I mean everything. While my cornbread's cooking. Check this out. This ain't no joke. Special blend. Puts a nice head on it. Whew. Look at that. Fully dressed and out to dinner. Hmm. Doesn't get any better than that. Well, I coated these real well. I just mixed them around. Got all that special blend on there. Beer's almost done. It's good. Now, I'm probably going to put this on the gas grill if the rain stops. Look at that. Nothing like cast iron. Hey, not bad. Just one little area. Mmm. It sure tastes good. Come here. Non stick. Oh man, that's good. Okay, the masterpiece has a few cracks in it. When I flipped it back over, it broke in half. That's really not an issue. 
You can see the jalapenos in there. Check that out. Got some jalapenos, the corn's mixed in there. Let's put some butter on this thing. Gotta have some butter on your cornbread. As you can see, we got some cornbread there. You can see the little pieces of uh, jalapeno in there. Now, I've been sampling all the crumbs that have been falling off, and you can taste that jalapeno mix throughout the entire cornbread. Now, y'all, cornbread's great just straight up and uh, with just butter on it. But when you add a little something, something to it, it just makes it a little different. Mmm. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, the Hog Zone Killing Crew. And that's about it. Subscribe, read the description. Appreciate it.